Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2023, and today I want to talk to you all about friendships. You know, I want to pose a question to you. Do you like your friendships? Do you feel like they're supportive? Do they make you feel loved, valued, cared for, considered? You know, I ask that question because so many people that I talk to in my practice, they, they tell me that they really don't like their friends, but they just don't want to be alone, you know, or they really don't like their friends, but they like what their friends do for them and what their friends are giving. And I've noticed that a lot of people maintain friendships that are unsatisfying because of this fear of being alone and this, this, this secondary gain that they're getting from this person. And it's kind of like they really don't vibe with this person's energy per se, but yet and still they like the vibes. For example, they like the clubs and the, the outings and the trips and they love that part. But this person's personality, they really don't vibe with it. And I'm just like, there's so many fake friendships nowadays. People that are just hanging on because of the years and because of what they're getting, you know, from this person. And it's just like, are these people real friends to one another? Or are they just pretending? You know? I think in some of my friendships that I no longer deal with, I was pretending too. I was pretending to be okay with things that I was not okay with. I would just grin and bear it. You know, I didn't want to be a vibe spoiler. I didn't want to spoil the vibes. I didn't want to speak on certain things because then I realized that I would have to confront it. And confronting it meant that I ran, I ran the risk of losing that friend. And I didn't wanna lose that friend at that time. And so I continue to maintain silence. I continue to maintain just resentment, you know? And I realized that when you don't speak up about things that are bothering you about a friend or friendship, you start to build resentment and harbor resentment towards your so-called friend. And I think that there's a lot of fake relationships out here that are being maintained as a result of just suffering in silence. People are just, they opt to just, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Don't want to make waves. So let's just go with it. You know, I think many people also, they realize that they're getting something from the person. So they begin to put them in a category. You know, they put them in a category of, I'll only call this friend when I need a person to travel with or a person to go out with, you know? Um, some of us are blessed to have multi-purpose friends where we can call them up and they just fit every occasion. But then there's some friends you only call them up when, you know, you need a listening ear, like someone to listen or just someone who can help you move, just something. You know, I guess we all have those specific purpose friends. And I'm just thinking like friendships nowadays are really breaking down. You know, I recently had to end a friendship. And the reason why was because I was never considered. I was always treated like an afterthought. And so I started to notice that. And so when I confronted the person about it, of course they apologized, but it was followed up by no behavior change, just a bunch of excuses and justifications. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to be forced to listen to yet another excuse as to why you're shortchanging me. So I had to get rid of that friend. I can no longer deal with that. Um, and truth be told, it's hard. It's hard because it's like you beat yourself up to. You wonder, where was I all this time? Why didn't I pick up on those subtle clues that, that kind of fill me in as to who that person was. Why didn't I notice this earlier? Why didn't I pick up on this? I, I could have saved myself a lot of time and energy, you know? And the thing about it is, you know, you find out things when you find out things and you have to act immediately. I've learned the importance of addressing matters immediately and not letting things fester and build. I've learned the importance of being honest with myself first and foremost. You know, I think that 
friendships can only be fake if you participate. If you refuse to participate in a fake friendship, then that's when you become real. But it only becomes fake if you choose to participate. And there's a lot of people in fake friendships right now, and they don't even know it. They don't know it, and it's unfortunate. So how do you know when you're in a fake friendship? Well, for one, you don't feel comfortable coming to that friend about real things. And when you do address real matters, they get defensive, they get abusive, they get loud, they get disrespectful. You just don't feel like they're a safe space, you know? Real friendships, you can confront your friend about things that you don't like in a friendship and you can both work together to try and understand one another and come to some form of resolution. In a fake friendship, you can't do that. You can't do that. A fake friendship is also one-sided. They want you to do all the listening while they do all the talking. They want you to do all the heavy lifting, all the calling, all the texting. Now, that's a fake friendship. That's not even a friendship. If you want to know what that is, is they're looking for a fan. They're looking for a follower. They're not looking for a friend. You know, real friendships are about reciprocity. They're about generosity. They're about coming from the heart, you know? Also, how to know if you're in a fake friendship. Fake friends try to control you. They want to control you. They don't want to really know you. They want you to be in the service of their needs. And that's more so of an attachment issue, you know, because attachment wants to control you for the sake of ego. A connection can really, really understand you and wants a mutual understanding. That's the difference. Attachments, they look to satisfy their own ego. Connections, they look for a mutually beneficial resolution, mutual understanding. There's a mutuality there, you know. So if they're trying to control your every action, if they want to try to tell you how to dress, how to be, how to act, what to say, it's, come on, that's not a real friendship. They really don't vibe with you. They just like the idea of being able to control you. And so you need to break away from that because what they're trying to do is really feed their starving ego. Their ego is starving, you know, and they need validation. So they try to use your life as their personal validation system. And that's not what you're here for. So you have to put a cap on that immediately. And what that means is that sometimes they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to deal with you anymore. And that's fine. Because if your relationship relies on your silence, if your connection with them relies on your silence, you taking abuse, you sitting up there not speaking how you feel and speaking your mind, that's not a real friend. That's not a real friend. That's a hostage situation. You know, so you need to get out of that ASAP. You know, how else to recognize a fake friend? A fake friend don't really want you to have other friends. They don't want you to have other friends. They don't want you to have other people. They try to isolate you from other people. You know, and that's a trait of a narcissist too. They try to isolate you from family, friends, and they try to guilt you and shame you and put you down when you want to hang out with other people. That's crazy. A real friend wants you to grow and thrive, you know? Also, a fake friend, how to identify them, they're never happy for you. Anytime you tell them good news, they're never happy. They're, they're never happy. They cannot celebrate your good news. They're always trying to criticize and throw a monkey wrench in everything that you're saying. They have to literally poo-poo on everything that you feel, you know? And that's not a real friend. You know, and of course they try to hide behind humor and try to mask their intentions behind humor saying, oh, I was just joking, you can't take a joke. No, they're not just joking because within every, every humor, there is a grain of truth. With every joke that they throw at you, there's always a slight grain of truth. And so you need to be able to recognize that. You know, fake friends will not be happy for you. They're just not capable of doing that, you know? So those are just some of the, 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 the clues that you have to zero in on when you're dealing with people because a lot of people are not happy for you. A lot of people are not real either. They're not real. I realized that in my last friendship, I just, <sighs> the person wasn't real, you know? 
They never came to see me. And then when I asked them about that, they said, oh, because I didn't feel like there was anything for me there. Wow. Okay. What about your friend? You know what I'm saying? But I guess they had to have some kind of outing, some kind of event, some kind of, you always have to be on. And that's another indication of a fake friendship. You always have to be on. You always have to be lit. You always have to be vibing. You always have to be, no. In a real friendship, you can relax. You could just watch a movie. You could just chill. You don't always got to be on. With some friends, it feels like you always got to be popping. I got to always be popping. I got to always be lit. I got to always be the life of the party. No. Can I just be myself? Can I just live? Can I just exist and enjoy your energy and you enjoy my natural energy without me having to always put on this construct, this mask, this identity, this image? I have to always adopt this image for you to like me. No. That's not a real friendship. That's not a person that sees into you. And so you need to just drop all these fake friends and get real. It's time we all get real because in this day and age, holding on to fake people only creates stress. And stress leads to all kinds of mental and physical disorders. So the thing about it is this, you have got to just go your separate ways. Thank them for the time you shared. Thank them for the lessons that you learned and move on. Because to be honest, holding on to all this dead weight, you never free up your hands for your blessings, for your real friends. You can't hold space for your real friends because you're too busy holding dead space for these fake friends. Stop holding dead space for these fake friends. Let, let them go. Let them go and free your hands to hold space, real space, for your real friends. So this is Lewis Lewis Speaks. I hope that that was helpful. This is a brief video. I definitely want to return back to this topic. I want to let you guys know that I do friendship consultations. So if you have an issue with a friend that you want clarification on, you can definitely reach out to me. Hit up, once again, the comments. You can hit me up on the comments. Let me know. I can let you also know how best to reach me. Um, what my consultations look like. I definitely do an assessment on your friends, your relationship. I also examine a lot. I go into depth in terms of whether or not you even want to keep this relationship alive, you know? So definitely hit me up for a friendship consultation. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about pricing. We'll talk about all that, you know? If you have a friend that you're not sure about or even friend therapy, because we're so busy tending to our romantic relationships, we're not tending to our friendships. And those are the ones that really sustain us. So I also do friendship therapy as well as friendship consultation. So definitely come aboard. Once again, if you like the video, hit share, like, and I look forward to engaging with you. All right, this is Lewis Speaks once again, wishing everybody a wonderful, wonderful 2023. Peace, y'all.